I found another collection of rusty tools on Craigslist and decided to make a video of this hammer that I restored. So the handle was in really bad shape and it was going to take a lot of work to sand so I was able to recruit some help and had my junior apprentice come down from upstairs to lend a helping hand. So here we just had to get a chisel hammer of our own and knock out this handle which he did need a little support because the shape of the hammer didn't let it sit in the vise very well so that's why the camera angles are a little jumpy by my filming. And then here the handle had three different nails in the end of it to keep it from coming out of that head. So we split it open and then here in the vise we decided to clamp it make it a little easier for him to get access to them. So you can see there's a just a normal round head nail and then there's what looks kind of like a, a skinny concrete nail was in there. So you can see those two and then the third piece you couldn't see it was a small little piece. And afterwards it was just me left so I decided to start filing and get it shaped up a little bit and some of these rough edges down and it just was going to take forever so I decided to break out the Dremel and got the big stuff and then came back with the file to kind of smooth it out and make it a little more even and once I had those pieces done broke out the palm sander and got it for a pretty good shine and then after that I broke down and bought a tube of flits after watching the mag dad his projects that he uses it because this stuff all comes out really shiny so I decided I'd give it a shot so I didn't film all four sides but when I got finished I did go ahead and wipe it down and here you can see all four sides where I didn't get out every single scratch and all that but it's certainly shinier than it ever was at least since I've had it then once that was ready I decided to put my focus on the handle so I glued two pieces of scrap wood that I had together went over to the sander and scuffed up my hands a few times so I had to quit filming pretty quickly and then after I got it rounded over a little bit finished up the shaping with the coping saw here and afterwards was able to just grab a rough coarse file get it a little bit more rounded then switched over to some 60 grit sandpaper to get rid of the edges and rounded bottoms of it once that was done, I took my, which in hindsight is a very dull saw, cut a groove down the middle so that way the head would be able to slip on and then I could put one of those fasteners back in there. So here you can see me getting the hammer flush for the most part. I didn't get it coming through like it was but originally. And then just for added measure, got some 5 minute epoxy, mixed that up and then squished it into the top to kind of encapsulate that nail that I put back in there and then also just keep it where it's not going to move anymore and make sure that I taped up the edge so I didn't screw up and have any residue left over. So left it in the vise to dry and the glove is around there so that way I didn't have the teeth of the vise screw up all the work I put in on the handle. Once that was done just grab some boiled linseed oil squeezed it in right there right where the hammer meets the the handle excuse me meets the head and then put on good three coats of that and let each of those coats dry for about 20 minutes then I would wipe off the excess and just leave it in the vise so that way it could dry and it ended up turning out pretty nice I like it and here you will see the before and after photos of all the work So. Pretty proud of what it looks like and it's certainly much shinier and the handle is really cool. It didn't protrude through the top like it did originally but I like it better this way. So if you differ with the opinions of how it should go certainly let me know and any comments are always welcome. So thanks for watching and if you haven't done so please go ahead and subscribe. See you guys.